Now, before you get into this and say, Jay, the aesthetics are off, aren't you the same ones that give me shit for aesthetics when I judge or take points away because it doesn't look appealing? What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review, or actually a presentation, because whenever I do a review on my own product, I get a lot of shit. So I've been into the billet box realm for a long, long time, and that's including inside of the bridge or the inside of bridge. I've been using that for so long. Like if you go back on my channel, you'll see 2017 videos. Anyway, billet boxes have been around for a long time, and a lot of people are getting into that industry. Now, I never thought that I would get into it and make anything that was compatible with it just because, well, I didn't want to steal any of their designs. But when they made the original billet box, the idea was for other people to be able to make bridges for the Boro tank. And I, again, I'll never take their design of their billet box or the Boro. I do plan on making it all in one. I will do a presentation for it that'll accept bridges, but I don't think it'll take Boro tanks. Well, I mean, it. yeah, I. that's unknown right now. So anyway, I figured I would show you a presentation of this Jenna bridge. There's been some talks of it. People want to see it. I wasn't going to do this because it is just for patrons, but at the same time, there are going to be some that are publicly released. So I do suggest you follow the Facebook group, Wits and Coils, or um, check out patreon.com slash jhayes. Now, before you get into this and say, Jay, the aesthetics are off, aren't you the same ones that give me shit for aesthetics when I judge or take points away because it doesn't look appealing? Well, you're going to notice some machine marks because it's a prototype and it's made out of brass and then coated it's not a true stainless steel, although it will look that way. So, yeah, that, that's what you'll see as far as defects, but as far as the functionality, the way that the airflow is, I wanted to bring something different to the bridge game that I've never seen before. Now, if there's another bridge that does this, then great. I have yet to find one. And before you say that this is like the vape snail or shell, it's not. The way that you adjust the airflow on this is a lot different where you don't need to swap out a bin. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let me just bring it down, show you how to put a build in it, show you how to wick it, because if you do pick this up, you're probably going to wonder how to do this so it doesn't leak. And there's a lot of airflow all over the place. So if you don't build this right, it will in fact leak. So without further ado, let me bring it down, show you how to build it. And then, um, so without further ado, flip it. Simple enough. You've all seen chimneys like this. I'm not going to comment on the machine marks. I'm just not. I already did. So that's that. It's that simple. And then that's your bell, right? Now, if you look at the inside of that, that's where we took the Jenna deck. Again, it's not perfect because it is a prototype. I can't really zoom in anymore. That's all that you get. I'd like to zoom in more, though. Maybe if I set it up for clear image. No, that's probably the most we're going to get in. Actually, let me see if I could zoom in. Stand by a second. Yeah, that's the most that I could zoom in. I tried to turn on clear image. Anyway, now this is the deck. This is the bottom. This is your mouth to lung setting. Simple enough. You never have to change out this pin. Don't worry about the insulator. That'll change. This disc on the bottom is your airflow adapter. So when this is in your traditional Boro tank, right? The one that comes with billet box and some other ones, this will work. If not, you'll have to deal with it all the way open, right? So you're getting airflow on the bottom that comes through here directly through the center pin. And then you have airflow that comes in through the chimney. Now the center holes are at a five degree pitch. So they're gonna hit more of the center of the coil. Now, when you look at the bell cap, right? Airflow is gonna come in and then bounce off and then hit the coil. The same way that the Jenna deck works is the same way that this works. To make this as small as possible, the screws do go in there, and I believe there are 1.5 traditional billet box screws. You guys have any kind of bridge, I'll use the same size Allen key. You can't really make it any larger. Again, they do go at an angle, and your airflow is directly on the bottom. So there are going to be some Boro devices that you put this in that you're not able to use that ring. And when you see the ring, this is not the finalized version, you'll see that there is a little lip there. That is going to block off your airflow. You say it's not really going to matter. Oh, 
Oh, but it does. And then, of course, that's 510 threaded, so you can put it on your favorite mod when you build it. So to close that off, you see how that goes right to the edge? That essentially is just using the mouth along on the bottom. So if you want a little bit more air, you could go like that. And that will not move once it's in. It's going to be tight. I mean, even if you shake it about, I don't know why you're shaking your shit, that shouldn't spin. There'll be enough of tolerance to where it'll be grippy. But if you want to open it up more like that, like that, and that is reducing the airflow. That is 100%, or you could just do what I do and take it all the way off, because I like the airflow directly from here. And, and would you really notice the difference if this was studded and this was just open? No, but from mouth to lung, that is a 0.7 millimeter point, so that is restrictive as shit. Right, But if you want to open it up a little bit, you could get that and get a little bit of air here. And you don't have to worry about it being indirect airflow. Again, don't worry about the machining of this. This is a prototype. It's dual core 28 with 38 on the outside. Those legs are a little bit long and there is a lot of forgiveness. That is a three millimeter inner diameter coil. Kind of gauge how long that is, about two millimeters. Filling the lungs inside you. And the black and eyes make my way into your mind Just to know what you knew Christmas every time we start locking eyes Oh, 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 oh lost control Oh, oh it's paradise with a nasty bad Oh, 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 oh in the dead of the with the Jenna Bridge inside of the Wicket AIO. Now, you saw when I was down below on the DMA 75C, it picked up at 0.92 and then 0.66, I think because that was a save preset. Now it's picking up at 0.92 again, just to show you on the inside, no leaking, rocking and rolling. And of course I am using the Boro that came with this just because. All right, so let's, let's what was that 20, 22.5 watts, here we go. God! Up that power a little bit. Let's bring it to 32.5. So, because of the way that the airflow is set up on this, it's not going to be the most optimal for the Jenna Bridge, I can tell you right now because I'm using it in a regular Boro, like the one that comes stock with the billet box, much more airflow. This is, like if you saw the bottom of their AIO or their Boro, the airflow only comes in from one side. That's why I have that adjustment of the screw. Now that's open all the way. And it, it, it's, you see the bubbles, it's bubbling, it's bubbling, it's bubbling. But the, the problem you're gonna run into with You only pull an airflow from one side, not gonna be optimal. It's not. It's gonna be very restrictive, regardless of how many airflow ports you have open at the bottom. That was a good flavor though, my God. So what you'll notice is I kind of got the idea from the Steam Tuners Insider, which I absolutely Love. That was the only bridge that I was like die hard. That in the Otis was the 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 the, the titanium jammy. I can't remember what it was called. 
Flow V2, that's the one, and the Insider. So the reason why I got the airflow like that was they usually put holes in the 510 and then you would just use that little plastic spinner to, to block it. I said, well, what if the airflow came from the bottom of the bridge? Why not? Right, like that, it doesn't matter how much, where the airflow is coming in from, it's a matter of how it hits the coil. So why not do that? And you would just turn that and it would kind of block off or open up more ports. Just do it where all ports are open and you could just reduce it by spinning it. Again, some Boro devices it won't work on unless you want it all the way open, which it does have a lot of airflow. Flavor is unreal. I can't even see if bubbles are coming. Are they coming? Look at this somewhere. Hold on. There you go, all on the, there you go, there you go. So, yeah, I, I could have made the bridge look a little bit different, but why? Why? Like on the outside, a bridge is a bridge. Start working with different shapes, you start losing capacity. So make it as slim as possible and lock that in, just like the Jenna top cap does on the RDA. So it's going to be about 225 days made. I, I don't have the exact numbers. They'll be stainless steel, they'll be DLC, they'll be Zerk tie, they'll be Bonkumi, all those special metals that were made with the Jenna. I'll just go ahead and, or just do this. All of those special metals there. So that's burnt titanium, Zerktai, DLC, Damascus, Mokumi. That is a prototype that's yellow, pink. You won't see this, that's polished. I just wanted to make a bridge. Everybody else is getting in the game and I use a billet box all the time and I use the insider. Let me use my own. That's it. So what's the price? About 25 bucks in shipping. So if you are interested, just stay tuned. I'm sure you'll find out the information when you need to know. And I've kept it real. Have you?